In this video I will show you how to use Go High Level for restaurants. So there's a lot of things you can do with Go High Level for a restaurant business. So whether it's your own business or your clients, I will show you how to really get the most out of the Go High Level platform for a restaurant. So first, if you want to go and claim a 30 day free trial instead of Go High Level's usual instead of Go High Level's usual 14 days, then you can click on the link down in the description and that will take you to this page from where you can simply go and start your 30 day free trial. Now one thing Go High Level does is it creates industry playbooks. Now they have one for restaurants and bars. So right here is what I'm going to go off of. So I won't just read this out to you. I will actually show you how you can do all of this. So first, how you can capture more leads using Go High Level for a restaurant. So you need to install the SMS web chat widget on the restaurant's website. Now here's how you can do this. First, you want to go and open up Go High Level, then click sub accounts right here, and then click add sub account. Now here, go and click on blank snapshot. Then here, search the location of the restaurant. Then here, enter the account info, and then in the bottom, click on save. So now in the top right, go and click on switch to sub account. From within the sub account is where you can actually manage this business. So then you will go right here. Now what you want to go and do in the left here is click sites. Now if the restaurant doesn't have a site yet or it has a bad site, then you can also offer them to create a website or if it's your business then you can create it yourself. It's really easy, just click new website and they have some templates that you can use. So go to the categories right here and then select restaurant and bar. Then here you can pick the restaurant or for example premium meat restaurant, restaurant dining. You can just pick whichever one you think looks best. I'll just pick the restaurant one right here. Then you can click continue. Now it will be adding this website to your Go High Level sites. And then here you will get to the website builder and this is an easy no code drag and drop builder. So now from here just going to add your own logo, your own colors and you can see everything works really well and it looks really good. So let's go and preview this real quick to show you what one of these websites actually looks like. You can click reservations right here and then you can go and create a form where you can then enable reservations. And then for the calendar, Go High Level also has a calendar feature so you can click on calendars right there in order to create one. But you can just go and write a form where people can, for example, enter their phone number and they, and they can also call them. So you can see, in my opinion, this does look really good. You can add testimonials, you can add FAQs, your address right here will be entered automatically. You can connect your social profiles and everything like that. But if your client or the restaurant already has a website, then what you can do is here go to chat widget, then click on new. Now you can do SMS or email chat, live chat or WhatsApp. Now I'm going to do a live chat right here. And then here you can go and create a chat widget just like the one you have in the bottom right. So you can get it for WordPress or you can get the code. So if the website is hosted on WordPress, then you want to click on that one. If it isn't, just go and click on get code. But here in the styles, you can choose what you would like it to look like. So you can choose a theme and stuff like that. For example, I'll take this one right here with the profile image. Then once you click on it, you will see what it looks like right there. So you can also change that. Or you can go and add your own colors right here. But I'll just take this template, then you can choose what the chat icons look like. So you can see that here in the bottom right. For example, I'll take this one. Then you can enter a welcome message. So hi there, have questions, text us here. So you can see that message right there. And if someone returns, so if it's not their first time visiting, then you can say welcome back name, how can we help you today, which is really cool. Then in the widget customization, you can go and add any profile picture you want, or of course you can do it without a profile picture. You can choose where it is positioned on the website. Now personally, I like bottom right the best. You can choose the widget dimension. Then here in the chat window, you can choose what is being said. You can do the live chat assign. You can do the live chat assign. So this is the live chat message. Give us a minute to assign you to the best person to help you out. And then the fallback sub account user inactivity time. You can set that right there. And this is the message. So it looks like it's taking too long. Please leave your contact details. We will get back to you shortly. So basically someone from the restaurant's team or maybe even you will need to reply to these messages in the live chat. You can do that from within the Go High Level platform. 
and if no one is responding then it will just ask them to leave their name and mobile number and that's pretty good because then you also immediately have a lead collected. Now you can also close the live chat when nobody is online for five minutes for example. Then in the messaging you can choose which messages are being sent and you can choose the placeholder color so that's that right there and you can just really go and easily make it look however you want so for example i'll just click on i have a question then type hi what are the opening hours and then click on send and then it will say give us a minute to assign you to the best person to help you out and then what will happen is someone in go high level will then get a message with this question where they can then answer it so go and click save in the top right now here you can click get code and then you just want to go ahead and add this code to the website you can ask the person that created the website to do that or if it's in wordpress then you can click get it for wordpress and then you can just go and connect this right here so that's the first way to get more leads for the restaurant. Now the second way is integrate the restaurant's Google Business Profile to activate Google Chat. To do that, go to the Launchpad right here. And then here you will see generate more leads from Google My Business, monitor and reply to GBP conversations and reviews. So click connect right there and then go and connect the restaurant's Google My Business account. Next, you want to go and activate the missed call text back so that any unanswered calls to the restaurant immediately receive a text message saying, sorry, we missed your call, how can we help? To do that, in Go High Level, in the bottom left, click on settings. Then once you click settings, you will get to the business profile right here. From here, just scroll down and then in the bottom right, you will see missed call text back. So you want to go and enable this. Now in this case, it's already enabled. And that will say, hi, this is the location's name. I saw that we just missed your call. How can I help? So then here you can enter a phone number to do a test. But basically when somebody calls the business and they don't pick up, then this message will be sent to them automatically. So then you can just go and reply over the message. Now all the messages that we are talking about, so the live chat messages, this message, you can see it all from within Go High Level right here in the conversations section. So for example, just now I asked the live chat, hi, what are the opening hours? You can see that right here in the conversations and from here you can go and reply to that. And then once you reply to it right here, it will show up on the live chat in the website. And there's also this button, which has request contact details. If you click on that, it will just go and request their contact details. And the person in the live chat will be prompted to add their phone number, maybe even their email and their name. Now the next thing that you can do for restaurants using Go High Level is to nurture leads into bookings. So you can configure helpful text snippets for phrases and links the restaurant often sends to people. To do this, just go to Go High Level, then here go and click on Marketing. Now here click on Template Snippets, then click on Add Template. Now you can add an email or a text template. For example, I'll do a text template. Now here enter the name then enter what is being said in this template. You can even attach a file if you want. For example, I'll call this one opening hours. Now you can also add custom values. So for example, the contact's first name. So then you can say, hi, contact's first name. Our opening hours are whatever, and then just gonna enter that right there, then click save. And now this is a template, so that when somebody sends you a message asking for the opening hours, you can simply gonna send this, and then it only takes one click instead of needing to type the same thing over and over again. Now the next thing that you can go and do is to activate the conversation AI, which is my personal favorite feature that Go High Level recently released. So the restaurant has a fully trained, always on assistant to conversationally convert leads into bookings or to answer general questions. So to set this up, again, go and click settings in the bottom left. From here, click conversation AI. Now you can either turn it to suggestive, so it will help you within the chat window or completely on autopilot. So then it will send messages automatically. 
Then for the supported channels, if you click on it right here, you can pick any of these. So for example, I'll turn it on in my live chat and chat widget and show you in a second what that will actually do. Now what you want to do here is click on bot training or before that actually you want to click configure intents. And then there are two of them. So you have appointment booking and support and general question and answer. Now, if you do appointment booking, then you need to add them to a calendar so that the bot actually knows when a booking can be placed. You can also turn on don't book appointment, only send a booking link. But for now, I'll just turn this off and only do support and general question and answer. Then in bot training right here, simply enter the restaurant's website and then click on get data. Now to analyze and scan all the pages on the website in order to get the opening hours to analyze the menu and stuff like that. So here you can see the uploaded link and based on this link, it has been trained. Now what you also want to go and do is include FAQs to train the bot to handle missing information. So click add Q and A, then here enter a question. For example, if you just enter opening hours, then it will know that if someone asks what are the opening hours, then it should answer this. But if someone just sends opening hours, then it does the same thing. So then here enter the opening hours. So you want to go and write this out professionally, but for example, I'll say 18 to 22 and click save. And now I'll go to the bot trial and right here, send what are the opening hours and then click send. And then we'll say our opening hours are 18 to 22, which I just entered. But now what's really cool is that if we go to the live chat by going to sites here, then click on chat widget. Now this is chat widget we built earlier that we can just add to our site. Now if you try this out and here send opening hours, or of course you can also write what are the opening hours or something like that. But if we send this, you can see right here in the conversation sections, I have asked it a few times because it didn't send it directly, but it will say what are the opening hours. And you will see right here from the live chat, the AI bot will respond to the contact in one minute and 30 seconds. So you can click send the bot to sleep for two hours if you want. But the reason that it waits for this time is if you want to send something yourself, then you can go and enter that right now. And then the bot won't send a message but otherwise the bot will just respond and it will say the opening hours are from 6 to 10. So next you can turn leads into sales so you can configure payment integration for payment forms, paid appointment calendars, tax to pay and tap to pay. Now this is only needed if you want to collect payments from actual bookings but most restaurants don't do this. Now next this is something I really like, turn sales into positive reviews, configure email and SMS review requests so the restaurant can quickly and easily request reviews with the tap of a button. So to do this click reputation right here. Now here you can click on requests and then click send review request. Then you can request it over SMS or email. Then here simply enter the contact name. Now you will see this person right here is someone that we got from the live chat widget. So basically now here just enter the contact's phone. If the contact has entered their phone number already, then it will just show up right here. Otherwise you will need to enter something manually. And now you can simply click send review request in order to request that review. So you want to get the people into your contacts right here with their phone number and email. So in the conversations, I always recommend to go and send some Thing like request contact details. Now you can see in the meantime the bot has responded with we are open from 6 to 10. So if someone asks a question in the middle of the night then this bot will just go and respond. Now the final thing is to turn sales into repeat customers so configure a newsletter email template so the restaurant can easily send out news, updates and promotions to their contacts. You can do that here in marketing and then emails then campaigns and then here you can go and create a new campaign and then you can go from a template if you want. Now I don't have any yet, but instead you can also just start with a blank one. Then you can use the design editor, the code editor or the plain text. Now that one looks nicest in my opinion. So now here you can really easily add anything you want. For example, if you have a menu update, then you can go and send out an email to all your contacts that you have gathered. So now you know how to use Go High Level for restaurants. Now again, if you want to claim the 30 day free trial instead of the usual 14 days to give you some more time to set everything up and to basically try this out, then you can go and sign up through the link in the description. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.